Hey y'all, my name is Luke. I make bags from high performance materials that would otherwise be discarded. And today I wanted to show y'all a couple of things that have been happening with the boat project, especially starting with this all grip paint school that I got to go to down in Orange, California a couple weeks back. And it is a really cool program for people who work in the marine industry for this particular paint school, where we got to use some of their awesome facilities down there in Orange to learn how to paint. Right, right. Yeah, so as you can see their shop is just beautiful. They have all sorts of cool art and uh, lots of really good paint storage racks with automatic mixing in them which is freaking cool. And we got to use some nice masks that have uh, built-in ventilation respirator kind of thing and uh, spray a bunch of test panels. So we got to use their fancy paint guns and use all sorts of their great products for the marine industry using uh, metallic flakes and uh, primers and all that kind of stuff. So it was a really cool program. I got to learn a lot. I was definitely the least experienced person there. So it was really good for me to learn all these things and all the products that they can use on marine industry applications. And oh man, look at those paint guns, goodness gracious. Uh, so yeah, it was just really cool to be able to learn from them and uh, really great program. So they got to let us use their awesome ventilated booths that they use for vehicles. And we got to do all sorts of fun application stuff and mixing of different products with all the different reducers and catalysts, converters, all that kind of stuff. So there is a lot to learn. It's a whole profession in itself for sure. You know, there's lots of uh, industries that benefit from people who are really good at painting. And uh, this company, All Grip, is part of Axo Nobel, which is a huge multinational company. Uh, they do all the coatings on you know, metal roofing, laptops, uh, school buses, UPS and FedEx trucks, all kinds of stuff. So it's really a big company, so it was a pleasure to be able to learn a bit, go down there and uh, get a certificate that says that I completed their training. And here's just another little shot of uh, the automotive section there. They have some historical guns and uh, all sorts of cool swatches. They can do all sorts of colors and different patterns and uh, special effects and stuff. Back at the boat barn now. It's fall and uh, the foliage is looking really cool. So I've been flying the drone around the boat barn quite a bit as I've been working on this mast collar. So the one that was there before I chopped off because it didn't have uh, an oval shape to it. So we're gonna put the mast through the hole and then uh, what's called a boot around that to keep water from getting in. So it's kind of a rubberized piece and uh, putting a hose clamp around that to keep it in place. It does work better if it's an oval shape for the hose clamp to go around as opposed to a rectangular shape, which was what was there beforehand. So I've been doing a lot of uh, foam shaping and finessing, trying to get it to the point where it's the right thickness. I've also been vacuum bagging a new companionway hatch cover that we just saw in that shot. And that is uh, just a solid piece of foam with two layers of carbon on the bottom and three on top that I vacuum bagged and it is super solid. I was jumping up and down on it there. So yeah, lots of uh, sanding and shaping to get it to the right spot. And then I did a couple attempts to vacuum bag it to make sure that it sucked down all the way tight to the shape that I had made and uh, extracts all the extra resin that we don't need. But first attempt failed, so I ripped everything off and uh, gave it overnight to kind of reset. And I tried it again in the morning here with some more plastic, uh, some more space for the plastic to go into the cavities. And that didn't work either, so attempt number two failed. And it is, to be fair to myself, I guess it's a pretty complicated shape. So here's me questioning my life choices.
A few of the folks that were at the paint school down in California came from Port Townsend, and I've been wanting to go up there for a while. I've never actually been before, so we took the opportunity to go visit them and see some of this beautiful roadway along the way. Uh, the Olympic Peninsula is just one of the most beautiful places on Earth, so it was nice to have a good work reason to go up there and visit some of the fine shipwrights that I met down in California and uh, see Port Townsend for myself. So Hank and my wife came along. It was really nice to have some company and uh, yeah, what a cool place, beautiful shipyard. Uh, with big travel lifts and a whole lot of activity going on there. It's very much a working boatyard with all sorts of wooden boats and metal boats. Uh, and this was our Airbnb. It was quite fittingly a uh, boat in a meadow and the name of the boat is the Meadowlark. Kind of off season, which is good because I think during the summer, it's a very busy place. So the first person that I went to visit that I met at the paint school was Caleb, and he works at ACI. They make aluminum boats of uh, mostly larger sizes, I guess, relatively speaking, and just such a cool facility to see a bunch of boats in process and uh, the big CNC table that they use to cut big sheets of aluminum and just so cool to see this much larger scale and I just don't know anything about metal boat so it was really interesting for me to get a little tour here and to see them making these whale watching boats and fishing boats and oh look at that beautiful electrical work man that is nice uh, but yeah just a really cool facility and they make some really beautiful hardy boats with all sorts of commercial and uh, recreational applications Some of y'all who follow wooden boat builders or boat project people on YouTube will definitely know Samson Boat Company. I've been following for a while, so it was really cool to go up there and meet Leo and the crew. And I even got to do a little bit of work on the Tally Ho myself. Got to put some tape on it and help out with uh, some stuff you'll see in their next video. <laughs> The next person we got to visit here is Lou, and they've got a great little facility in the shipyard there, and a very cute little puppy. <laughs> so uh, they showed us their first boat that they're working on here. It's a little wooden rowboat, and uh, yeah, just super cool to see their new facility that they have access to, and this little puppy that tried to steal my microphone windscreen, which to be fair, uh, it does look like a dog toy, so I get it. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. You're crazy. And last but not least was the Port Townsend Shipwrights Co-op and Deb who was down at the uh, paint school in California gave us a tour of that. It was super cool to see this and all their really rad old machines and they have great facilities for electrical, metal, wood, paint, all sorts of stuff. They can do it all and it's just a really interesting shop because they have 12 owners and about 60 employees. So here's a shot of one of their steam bending applications for putting big old planks on wooden fishing boats and another one of their big facilities for uh, smaller boats and their paint shop. So what a fantastic visit up to Port Townsend it was. It's a beautiful place to visit and I was just so lucky to be able to see everyone again and see where they work. And also here's a shot of what the mast collar looks like now. Got some carbon on it the old-fashioned way and it's almost done. So thanks so much for watching.